Here's another email, this time from GP James Sutton. At the moment, I'm looking at palliative care directives for syringe drivers and PRN doses of anticipatory drugs. We currently have to write these out by hand every time. Do you use an EMIS-based pre-populated version of this? It would save so much time and avoid errors. James, the timing of your email is just perfect because that is exactly what I've been working on. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Mike. I'm a GP in Manchester, UK, and I'm also a university tutor at one of the medical schools near by. And in this short video, I'm going to share with you how to import documents into EMIS and how to pre-populate as much data as possible. Finally, if you stick around to the end, I'm going to show you a really cool trick to sign these documents. So let's get started. Here's the scenario. I get an email from the Macmillan nurses with a new prescriber's authorization sheet for anticipatory medication. And my first thought is that's a lot of tables I'm going to need to fill in. So let's try to automate that process by using document templates. Click on the EMIS ball in the top left hand corner. Go to configuration. And as you can see, the template manager has disappeared. It has now been rebranded as the resource publisher. Click on that. Go down to document templates, right click on your practice, new folder. Let's call this GP on the move and save. Once we get into our folder, go up to import and document. Choose the document you want and double click import. Okay, and now the document is loaded into EMIS. The document has come up here. Let's change the view and get page width. So see on the left hand side over here, these are mail merge variables. So what you can do is you can either drag them onto your document, or if you get your cursor onto the place that you want it to be, you double click. So for instance, first name. If I double click given name, that should pre-populate. Same thing with surname, that should pre-populate as well. And I'm just gonna go through this whole document. Okay, and then in the postcode, home address in town, address postcode, GP. Usual GP, full name, NHS number, same thing, NHS number. If they have a hospital number, that should be as well, but that's not going to be relevant for GP. Date of birth. Date of birth. There it is. In terms of the drugs, I already filled this in before, so I'm just going to copy and paste it. And the guidelines I use to pre-fill the table are in a link in the description below. And the algorithms start at page 101. And for the date, go down to miscellaneous items, short date letter merged. We actually filled in quite a bit here. So let's test merge and see what it looks like. So I'm pretty happy with that. It filled in the first name, surname, address, postcode, GP, date of birth, NHS number, also the dates for the drugs. I have all the drugs there. That's gonna make my life much easier. Now, once you're happy with the authorization sheet, let's save this. Go to the left-hand side, save as. Let's give this a good name. And this is the authorization sheet. And then you can also add a little code here. All right, and we can add the code here, prescription of palliative care anticipatory medication. That's pretty good. Press OK. Let's save and close this. We've saved it. We're happy with it. We have to press complete and go into a consultation and see if it actually works. So to bring up these documents, you go to the left hand side to document and create letter. Go to the magnifying glass. Let's see what happens if we write an anticipatory medication. There it is. Let's click on this. And there we go, the document is loaded. This can be accessed by anyone in your practice. At this point, you could just print it out, put some signatures down and the stop dates and you're sorted, simple. Finally, I promised you a bonus at the end. Here's a really cool trick to add signatures to your documents so that you might not have to print them out and you can then email them directly. So here's the trick. We brought up the prescriber's authorization sheet, go into this file, print, and make sure you choose Microsoft Print to PDF. Click print and then just save it in your folder. Go into your folder, find the file, and then here on the right hand side, there's a fountain pen. Click on that. This is the fun bit. This is where you add your signature. Click on add signature, and you can even draw it here. So let's draw a signature. That's perfect. Apply. And as you can see, I can add in my signature, make it a little bit smaller so that it fits perfectly, and then just add it all over. Yeah, perfect. For the stop date, at this point, I can actually just put in a date as well. And I can do the same thing for the rest of the document. And then all I have to do is just save it. I'm gonna choose the same folder and we're just gonna replace it. So what I could do is I could just send a task to the secretaries and say, please go into the folder and email the signed prescriber's authorization sheet to the Macmillan nurses. Right, that's it guys. I hope that was informative. If you did find that useful, give me a thumbs up and like this video and you can also leave a comment below. If you'd like to see more videos like these, please subscribe and you can also email me directly. Otherwise, good luck.